A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, December 7th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Putnam County Executive-elect Kevin Byrne has tapped Orange County General Services Commissioner James Burpo to be his Deputy County Executive effective in January. Orange County Executive Stephen Newhouse, meanwhile, has named Samantha Swakata the Acting General Services Commissioner. She's been serving as Deputy Commissioner. Burns said he's admired Burpo's innovative thinking, his can-do attitude, and his energetic spirit. His experience in county government is unmatched. The incoming Putnam executive said Burpo's ability as a strategic thinker has been a boon to Orange County residents. Newhouse said Burpo's diverse experience in both the public and private sector and knowledge of county government operations will make him an asset to County Executive Burns' team and the residents of Putnam County. Poughkeepsie City Administrator Mark Nelson has named former City Corporation Counsel Paul Ackerman to lead his transition team as he prepares to assume the office of mayor of Poughkeepsie in January. Ackerman, an attorney, will be joined by three prominent members of the Poughkeepsie community to help Nelson prepare for his new role. The soon-to-be mayor says the team has been assembled to help the six-year city administrator hear the needs of the city before taking the reins. What I was looking together to, to put together was a small team that could really do a lot of the community outreach, could guide what are the key things that I want to focus on, and also I wanted to pick people who knew the organization, and, and all, all of these really do, and knew the city, uh, and could tell me, hey, listen, this is what you've been missing. This is what we'd like to see you do, and this is what we're hearing from the people that we talk to. Ackerman joined the city as an assistant corporation counsel. He was appointed to lead the city's law department three years later. The holidays are here, and at Galleria at Crystal Run, you can find something for everyone on your list. Over 1 million square feet of joyful shopping. Visit over 100 retailers, including many locally owned businesses. Check out brand new stores like Lovisa, Rue 21, and Box Lunch. Don't miss visits with Santa this season from Black Friday until Christmas Eve. Sponsored by Town Square Media. For all the details regarding hours, photo pricing, and special events, visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. And happy holidays. The current economic conditions in Orange County are bright with an extremely positive outlook in the future. That message came from Partnership President Maureen Hallahan at the organization's annual event held Tuesday night in the town of Wallkill. Hallahan says the agency is following the growth mission of Board President Mike Gilfeather. It really was his mission to really focus on job creation at possibly a higher level, like with pharmaceuticals or um, technology jobs, any type of jobs that would require would require more training um, and more opportunity. So we've really gone after that under his guidance, manufacturing and the like. Hallahan acknowledged that the county's growth is largely because of the county's location and infrastructure. Because of the collapse of a glass valance at Resorts World Catskill last week is being investigated. The collapse injured a number of people. Megan Taylor, Vice President for Government Affairs and Public Relations, told Mid-Hudson News last night what caused the incident is being probed. Our structural engineers have been on site. Um, to this, At this point, um, we believe that it's an isolated incident. incident. The area that the incident occurred has been closed off to the public and we're working with the town to make sure that we have everything in order so that we can open up safely and our guests and you know staff continue to be safe in the environment. Taylor said engineers continue to examine the area to make sure the entire facility in the town of Thompson is safe. The Walden man who crashed his vehicle into three Wallkill Central School District buildings has been charged with felony criminal mischief driving while intoxicated, driving while ability impaired by a combination of drugs and alcohol, and reckless driving. The Ulster County Sheriff's Office arrested Jason Hepper, who's 33, for allegedly intentionally driving his vehicle into the buildings. 
A second Newburgh street gang has been busted by federal and state authorities in less than a week as 14 members and associates of the Double Nine Grim Reapers Bloods Gang were charged in an unsealed 15-count indictment on charges of racketeering, narcotics, and firearms offenses. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.